As part of our battery system, basically the batteries are out on our engines. They're used to crank the engine and they're also used to supply power to the switchgear. Each section is driven by the set of batteries that goes with that particular generator. So for instance, on generator number three here, we have the batteries out by the engine. They feed power to this section. On here, we have our battery charger failure that we talked about earlier. If we have a battery charger failure where we lose AC power to that battery, that battery is eventually going to be drained down by the switch gear. And what that's going to cause is that engine, when it comes to start, the battery is going to be low, the engine is going to crank, drain it down even lower, and that's going to cause, more than likely, a trip of this system because the batteries are too low to crank and start this engine. What that will do is basically there's a circuit breaker inside this panel that provides the DC power to it. When we get a low voltage on that to protect the system, it's going to trip that breaker off. And what's going to happen is you're going to come into your, into your powerhouse and your front panel is going to be completely dead if you've got a battery problem with that engine. What you're going to do is you're going to go out, correct the problem with the batteries, either replace them or get a better charger on them, figure out why the thing isn't charging up. Once you get your battery charge up to, up to where it's supposed to be, you can come in here, open the cabinet up. Now that we've got the cabinet open, what we're looking at is the, the row of breakers that are in here. What we see here is we have a tripped breaker here. That is our DC power for this system. Uh, all we have to do to reset that is push that up. We close our panel door and we should have power back on all of our instruments again. Now that we've repaired the problem and got the breaker back reset on this, we can put this unit back in the auto position and it's ready to run again. Inside this cabinet there are several components that are in here. These are all preset by the technician when he comes out in the field and does the original startup on these engines. Uh, there is no reason for, a for anyone else to actually have to go inside these cabinets unless there's a problem like that breaker in there.